It's a visit like none other for members of the gay men's chorus of Washington. They're making their voices heard in Cuba and will be performing a series of concerts. The choir's first appearance in Havana comes on the heels of restored diplomatic relations between the island nation and the United States after more than 50 years. Director Chase Maggiano says the landmark visit means more than just connecting with a new culture. Because we think we can break down a lot of stereotypes that are both uh, cross-cultural in the U.S.-Cuban relations as well as in the LGBT stereotype. The chorus is expected to meet with the daughter of current Cuban President Raul Castro, Mariela Castro, who is credited with making progress for the gay community in recent years. It's setting a new tone for relations between the two countries even before the reopening of the U.S. Embassy in Havana later this month.